Hey guys, how we doing? It's me, Gloria, and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be card number 10 of my Christmas cards. And um, I just wanted to tell you that I end up using a silhouette cut. And if you go to Mrs. Kate's Cuttables um, or on the silhouette store, you can find this. And it was really cute, so I figured... You know, let me end up doing this card because it was really cute. Especially after I put the images together, it came out to be adorable. But anyway, my card is going to be an A2 size card. And these are the paper patterns that I end up using. I end up using this paper pad called Festives, Fe Festivities, I think. Yeah, F Festive. And it's from Recollections. And um, the paper pad that I end up using is... It's coming up. And this paper pad, um, it was in Michael's for $5. So, and I think the sale was only for one day. So, I got lucky. And my cousin ended up buying this for me when we was over there uh, Saturday. And this is the paper pattern that I'm using. And then I also used the DCWV called Stack 7. And the paper pattern that I use in this one is, this is all just regular paper. And it has different type of uh, cuts in it. And it's really adorable if you ask me. Especially that paper. I just love the blues and browns. And the pinks and purples. They are so awesome. Okay. So that paper is. I don't know if I can find it. And I think I'm coming upon it, or I think I passed it. I probably passed it. So let's go back this way. And it has really cute, cute papers in this uh, stack right here. And I'm not seeing it. But anyway, the other paper pattern that I end up using is this one. And it's this green paper, okay? So let's get started and let's do my card. So my card is going to be an A2 size card. And I already cut it out and score it. And this is paper from um, Cardstock Warehouse. And it's really sturdy, which that's what I like. Especially for card bases. You want to make sure that your card bases are a little bit sturdy. Especially if you're just using paper. Pattern paper. Not cardstock, but pattern papers. Okay? So, for my inside, let's start the inside. I have this green cardstock that's going to go there. And this green cardstock is... Four by four and a quarter. No, four by five. Okay. And it's going to go right there. Then I have a white cardstock that's going to go right on top, just like that. Then I have a piece of that pattern paper that I'm going to adhere right down here, just like that. Just like that. Oh my God, here I go again with just like that. <laughs> you don't never know how much time you end up saying, how many times you say a word till you actually. Record yourself and realize how many times you said a word and then I end up cutting out this snowflake border and This snowflake border is a deep edge punch from Martha Stewart and it is called the snowflake trim and it's really really cute and Look at how adorable it looks on glitter paper Definitely so adorable. Okay, so let me hear all of this together So, I hope everyone had an awesome Monday. I just got off of work and I figured, you know, let me throw out this card and see what I can do. Okay, and it's going to look just like that. And I'm just going to adhere my pad and paper to the bottom of my card. And it's going to be like a 
a border trim that's going to go between the two patterns. Not the two patterns, but the white cardstock and the pattern paper. And I'm just going to adhere it straight down, like right there. Okay, that looks perfect. And now for my trim, I'm going to have this trim and it's going to go right there. So I need to cut this much off. Okay, so let me get my, my cutter and I'm going to cut it right there. It's going to look just like that. And I could try to bring it total across. So, now I'm just going to use my, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, what you call this, my zip two-way. And I'm just going to try to glue as much as I can on all of the edges, really, and then slowly on the sides. And this cut that I end up doing, when I first did it, it didn't come out right. And then I did it again. And oh my God, I just love this. this. Okay, it's going to look just like that. Okay, and now I'm just going to adhere this to the base of my card. So, and I'm just going to adhere this straight down. But for some reason, it seems like it's missing another pattern paper. Let me see, maybe if I put it on a piece of white cardstock. That will probably be a little bit better. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to back it up with a white piece of cardstock. Okay, so just give me a second. I just want to cut this down. Now I'm going to put this down on my card base. And it looks really good. And I might have to cut a little bit more off. Now this might not work out. I think I'm just gonna, I might have to put it on another one. Okay. That ain't gonna work. I'm just gonna put it just, wait, I might have, yep, I have another one. I'm gonna use this gray paper. I just wanna make it a little bit sturdy in the inside of my card because since I got one cardstock and then the other pattern paper, it's just not working out too good. So I hope everybody had a wonderful Monday. My day was awesome. I went to work, I did my hours, and now I'm back home. Thank God. But I'm working still, so. Okay. So now I'm going to put this on my card base. You got to excuse me, guys. It's 
So now I'm just going to adhere this down to my card base. Just like this. Okay. Now for the inside sentiment of my card, I am going to use... My scrap, uh, my creative time with Emma, and I'm going to use this warm holiday fun, and it includes the die, the dice. But I'm just gonna use the sentiment, wishing you a merry, merry Christmas. And this was last year's uh, stamp set. And as you guys know, you can use last year's, the years before. You could just keep on using them over and over and over again. Don't ever get rid of your stamps. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this on my Friskers stamp press. That don't look even. No, that looks even. Okay, and I'm going to use Tuxedo Memento Black Ink. I should actually use red, but every time I use a different color, it just don't seem to stamp out right. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of center this where I want it. And then I'm going to try to find the middle. And that looks good right there. Excellent. Wishing you a Merry Merry Christmas. And then I have these snowflake punches that I punched out with my uh, Frisco snowflake punch. And... I got this like two years ago, maybe a little bit longer. Sometimes I can't keep up with what I got. Okay, and I'm just doing this to accent the card a little bit. Okay, and then one more. Just like that. And there goes the inside of my card. And I thought the inside came out adorable. Just love the colors. The colors are amazing. And for some reason, this one don't seem like it's in the middle. So that, okay, that one's much better. Okay, so now let's start decorating the front. Now for the front of the card, I have, let me move all of this to the side. So I know what I'm doing. I have that same green pattern paper. Then this uh, pattern paper from Recollections. And then I have this green glitter cardstock. And this cardstock is from Coronations from Joann's. And guys, if you don't know about this, Joann's have them only in the single sheets. And when they're six for a dollar, definitely get them. These work great in the cutting machine it is amazing so now what i'm going to do i think i'm gonna have it like that and then just cut it right there i think i did it right yeah So now, perfect. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach all of these together. And I'm just going to lay them one on top of the other and then put them on my base card. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm going to put my glitter at the bottom of my pattern paper to make it be two colors. And I kind of pulled the colors from this pattern paper right here so I could come up with uh, the card. And when I saw this cut on uh, Mrs. Kate's Cuttables, I thought it was like the perfect cut for the sentiment that I'm going to use. So right now what I'm doing, I'm just adding the border. But before I do that, let me add this to my base. Oh my God, since... Uh, Doreen told me about that uh, about that website, how to fix your gun. Oh my God, my gun is working like a charm. Thank you, thank you, thank you again, Doreen. I definitely appreciate appreciate the info. I really, really do because I was getting tired, and I know you guys were getting tired too. Okay, so now I'm just passing some glue, some two way, on my snowflake trim. And then I'm just going to attach it to right here between both of the pattern papers to kind of join them together. Okay. And now I'm just going to attach it right here. Just like that. Okay, perfect. And then the sentiment that I end up using is from my creative time with Emma. And this one is called, it's a magical season. And this was last year's stamp set also for Christmas. And the sentiment that I end up using is snowmen fall from he heaven unassembled. And that always really got me. That sentiment is like so adorable. And for this card that I got, I thought this cut that I ended up doing, I thought it was amazing. So, on Mrs. Kate's Cuttables, you can end up getting this cut right here. And this is a snowman's face, just the face. Now, the reason why I use that stamp, because snowmen don't never come assembled. You have to always assemble them. So they come unassembled. So I figured, you know, one cut there. And I was like, okay, well, there goes one part. And then, you know, you have to put together the other part of the snow snowman. So I thought it was so adorable. So I'm going to pop this up. So I got some foam tape. Ooh. And my foam tape took all my gems. So let me kind of put it back in. Okay. So now what I want to do with this, I don't want to uh, do a really big, big strip. I just want to do in strips. I'm going to try to long this uh, foam tape. Not long it, but make it long lasting. Because my other one went really, really quick. So I got only foam tape on this because I have the top hat already popped up. So I just want it on the frame of the face. There's a couple of websites that I like for their silhouette cameo. And Mrs. Kate's Cuttables is one of them. She has some awesome, awesome cuts. And they are adorable. I mean, they really, really are. So now I'm just going to adhere him straight down on the card just like this. Okay. There goes my card, guys. I might put one snowflake right here. 
Okay, so let me kind of trim this up. Okay, so now I'm just going to, I want to pop this one up. So let me do that because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a piece of gem in the middle. So I want to do that. Flip this over and I might need to cut this in half. Okay, and now what I want to do is just fit a gem right in the middle. Okay. And I want to add this to my snowflake. And I actually, okay, and now I'm just going to take the adhesive tape, the backing of the foam tape. Ay, yo no sé. La palabra mía siempre no sirve. Sometimes my words don't work out so clear like I want it to. <laughs> it's just so funny. Guys, I laugh at myself all the time. It's amazing. <laughs> I just, you have to laugh, you know. Okay, quédate allí. Right there. Okay, now this don't want to stay. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a... I try to make something extra and it takes me so much longer to do this extra thing. Okay, so now I just want to take this and did I take the backing off? Yes. And I just want to adhere it right there. Just like that. Okay. Okay, this bling ain't going to work. So let me get another one. Hold on for a second. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just use one that already got the sticky back to it. And it'll definitely stick this time. You see? Perfect. Okay, well, there goes my card, guys. Thank you so much for coming and joining me today. I really hope you enjoy my Christmas card. Snowman fall from heaven unassembled. And I thought he was so cute. So, so cute. I end up cutting him out at three and a quarter. So, guys, go over to your Silhouette store or Mrs. Kate's Cuttables and get this cut. And you can definitely make a snowman card, too. And there goes the inside of my card. Thank you so much, and you have a blessed day now. Bye.